Well, hello YouTube. This is D Badass Mojo, and today I will be building Nyx for her augment mod called Mind Freak, which is a augment for her first ability and makes it so you do like a lot of damage. Uh, it adds more damage to your target that you're controlling. So basically, uh, I've been using this mod, and I had a lot of fun using this. The only reason why I don't like playing uh, with this uh, with this Warframe is because when you do mind control people. The AI is so bad that they don't like attack each other very well unless like uh, they're like in an open area where there's like no obstacles at all because if you have them controlled uh, they'll just hide and stuff and they'll, they won't do anything. So uh, yeah this augment mod basically uh, I'll show you guys what it does. It has 500% more damage to your mind controlled target. This is affected by power strength, so it can go up to 1250, I think, max damage. Uh, or more, I think you can add transient fortitude and it will go up to like 1300 or so. Uh, but yeah, it just makes it so your target does shit ton of damage. It literally just makes him like a sentinel, basically. Like another sentinel that you'll have uh, equipped. Uh, but it only lasts for amount of duration that you have equipped. So this build is all duration, all power strength. A little bit of range and uh, no efficiency because if we don't care about efficiency we just want to control one guy and have him fight the whole battle because a lot of duration means he will fight for longer uh, and you'll want you won't have to like spend uh, energy over and over again casting it on the same cr uh, guy because he like runs out of duration so have a lot of duration a little bit of um, like range so you will be able to cast it from like a safer place uh, and yeah, uh, corrosive projection for uh, aura so they will have a little bit less armor and they will be able to kill each other faster. Uh, what else? Uh, narrow minded for a lot of uh, duration, a little bit of uh, it takes away from my uh, range, but I have uh, threat so I would be able to get that uh, range back a little bit. Uh, constitution for uh, even more duration, prime continuity for more duration blind rage and intensify for damage this is not maxed out i don't want to max it out because that uh, efficiency will go even lower uh and also i have it uh equipped on multiple warframes and if i were to max this out it would just get away and then i'll have to like form on the rest of the frames that i have uh prime flow uh for energy obviously and mind freak for the uh, ability itself so let's try it out and see what it does it is really really good uh, as long as the enemies are like fighting each other and not hiding from each other, which is kind of what they do usually when you mind freak them. Uh, so I have a level 100 bombard and a lancer, and I'll show you guys how this works. So I don't know which should I pick uh, to like control. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna make it so there are two bombards, and I'll show you what it does, how much damage do uh, they can cause each other. It's really really strong. Uh, and you can literally like kill uh, people with people <laughs> it's like hitting another dude with another dude basically so have them both spawn their level 100 by the way uh, and have a safer place to cast it uh, try to stay away from them because they will try to attack you and when you don't have them mind freak so yeah I think he is yeah there we go and the battle begins. He is taking a lot of damage while he is barely like lost even like a little bit. Like tiny, like tiny, tiny. While this guy has lost like, I would say one fifth of his health. And he is missing a lot too. Uh, so see how he uh, his health is going down really fast. And if you were to like land a slash proc, it wouldn't go even down faster. He just landed a pu puncture. He killed me, which is kind of bad because I was too close to them. Um, yeah, just stay away from them and try to cast it from a safe place and hide and watch the little duel. Uh, it's really fun, actually. Like you will enjoy it a lot. I actually like Nix's ability. I wish they would make it so your AI controlled target just does not like stupid shit and like moves around and stuff. Um, otherwise, otherwise it would just be like really, really good. It's like having a level 100 sentient. It's just too good. I'll spawn, um, like 
in like a regular battle, I'll have a Bombard and a Lancer, and I'll pick a Bombard to fight him. So like in the regular case, uh, they would just, you know, oh, I, I accidentally didn't equip, I mean, didn't kill all of them. Uh, let's see, kill AI, and hopefully they don't go away. So he just immediately starts attacking him because he sees him as a threat while he is just murdering him. Look at the amount of damage he is doing to him. Well, now he's going to start hiding. That's what, what I hate about this augment is that when somebody's hiding, those guys, like the mind people you're controlling, they don't come out and like try to kill them. It's kind of bad. But yeah, he just killed a level 100 uh, corrupted Lancer. I'll show you guys how this works. If I were to do it the other way around, like so I were to control a Lancer ver versus the Bombard. Uh, try to pick the uh, the heaviest unit in, like, in any type of group because they would do the most damage, obviously. Um, let's see. Pick the Lancer this time. Hopefully I don't get killed. Okay. So Lancer would do 500% more damage. He is doing reasonably low damage, but still. He isn't taking uh, very much damage. Because that guy isn't doing like a thousand percent more damage. Yeah, what I hate about these guys is that they, they hide a lot and they don't do very much damage. Oh, he throws a grenade. I want to see what happens. Oh, it was like a mile away. I don't know if it affected him. But yeah, it's pretty fun to like watch them fight. It just it's really entertaining because I still have like 37 seconds left on my duration. So I ha again, have a lot of duration for this. Um, and yeah, you can place bets on people like, what the fuck is he hiding on? It was hiding on something that wasn't even there. Yeah, you can place bets on each other and see who would win. I wonder what happens if you have like two Nixes control two different like war um, enemies. I wonder if they like attack each other. I wish I had a, like another Nix with me right now and I would be able to like control them. But I don't know how that works. I think they won't fight because they turn into allies. So allies don't fight each other. Uh, he is gonna kill me. I'm just gonna murder him. And I will see what happens if you have five lancers and one being controlled fight each other. Because usually you have a lot of lancers in the or uh, in the void and they fight you a lot. So let's see. So this guy make everybody turn on him. Man, he is murdering them. He messes a lot though. You know what? Since these guys have guns and they're hiding, this is not gonna be like a good choice. I'm gonna have butchers fight each other. Let's see what happens. Butchers. I don't have the Orkin butchers uh, scan, but I do have the other guys, these guys. These are really, really deadly too, but not as tough as the Orkin ones. Don't fight me. Fight for my cause. I want them to fight each other. Yep, they don't hide from each other. Oh! He just one shotted one, two. Holy. It's like having a sentinel. Holy shit. That does shit ton of damage. You know what? I will have my sentinel fight one of these guys. I want to see how much damage can my sentinel cause. Like you saw he, how he killed him with two shots, right? I have a really powerful sentinel. I'll see what, what type of damage he would do. So I have a Durga with the um, Volcar and a Riven for it, which it takes away my uh, flight speed, but it da uh, does add a lot of crit chance and uh, crit damage. So it's pretty good. I have it for a lot of crit and um, corrosive. So it's really, really good. 10 times crit damage. That is a lot of damage. Plus 700 like base damage. It's just stupid powerful. Uh, let's see what it does against a level 100 butcher. If we were to one shot him, it's basically like having another sentinel. Um, show it to you guys. Nice. He just uh, one shot at a level 100 butcher. 
I mean, these guys are not really tough, but you get the point. Like, this is like having another sentinel on top of you while he runs around. And you don't even have to, like, um, build him. You just have your Nyx and he'll do all the work for you. So, yeah, that was the build. Uh, again, a lot of duration, a lot of power strength, no efficiency. I mean, you can add efficiency if you want to, but, um, I mean, I'm not gonna like tell you not to but if you want to i don't mind i mean i'm not forcing you to build this the way i build it but it's a really good build for that augment obviously you don't it's not gonna work for any other ability it does work a little bit but you lose a lot of range and this is all about range and stuff so it's not that great for using any other abilities because if we were to look at all the abilities it wouldn't do a lot of good for them However, the first ability does really, really good. 76 per, like seconds, which is really, really like high amount of duration. If I were to take off the stats, it is only 30 seconds. So keep in mind, it's a lot of duration. It's like having a minute and a half-ish worth of another sentient. And you can cast it again. It only costs 35, sec uh, 35 um, energy too. So it's not a lot of like costy for a mod that good. So, uh... Yeah, let me know what you guys think of this video and the build. And uh, subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace.